Okay, being a black folks, and basically this is Sechi, and I am not joking with you at all. I'm just showing you the actual factual. The only thing that make this can make everybody relax is hopefully that this is just actually finally the sun has been caught underneath the solar panel in just the sun. And we're going to zoom in on this because as you can see, just sitting here looking back at from a far distance on this shot on H12B, the, what the, the reason I found this is because they cut out the 28th. I couldn't get the 28th. Just this shot. This is high 12B. You see? So you, this is what we're going to be freezing and looking in at. Let me make this real fast and get in there cause, and just show you actual factual what we got there. 777 we'll zoom in at. Matter of fact, we'll just go to 400. And I'm just looking at honestly, my reactions are going to be just everything that I'm seeing on it real fast. Because either we have just finally gotten just the sun alone without being covered up by anything, or we have something flipping huge, okay? And I'm praying and hoping that this is just, just we finally got a shot of the sun shaded, no matter what. But we also see that we've got a lot of action back here behind it, as you've seen the other video I made today, of knowing that we had something dangling back there by the deal. Now, the only thing that should be, and we don't know if we can see it, I know that if you're on A shot, you can watch my other videos recently, I've got A on there, and then I was looking at, I figured, well, I'll go take a look at B. Now, what's unusual, too, is Earth is doing this kind of like on B here, looks the way that we're moving away from the sun. And i got to go down and look at the clock here in a minute, we'll get on, on that again. But no matter what, we finally maybe have gotten a look at the sun, because no matter what, this is the you put the solar panel there to block it to block all the glare, so that you can basically see everything. Now Jupiter is the biggest thing we know in the solar system. So why did we not get the 28th footage? And you see how big Jupiter looks from a long ways away. And then we're going to get in on this, and this should be the sun. Finally, we get a shot of it, totally unadulterated. Now we're going to go up to 777 on this. But it bothers me that all of a sudden on the 28th, I got all the other footage, but I couldn't get this one. And I'll have to, I'm not going to help them with excuses with the CME or anything like that, but let's go ahead and 777. So this might be some footage that might end up disappearing, but anyway, no matter what, we finally get to see the sun, if that is just the sun. But if we quit getting this B shot like this, You've got all the information on it, no matter what, that is awesome. We finally get to see just the sun covered up, or whatever the hell it is. And as you've seen, uh, I can give you, and basically you can see it bleeding through too, the heat and the color. Wow, check that out. Because this is the first time I've ever seen this do this. Now, earlier today I was able to, but we're looking right through, it's so bright, you can see right through the solar panel on it. So let's let's take the magnifier and magnify it up on it. And there's there's one of those circular. Uh, I've seen this earlier today. Now, oh, let's we'll stay there for a second. Get this frame thing. That frame should disappear. There you go. Check that out. See, you're getting color, and that's what I, that v video earlier today was. Basically, I should be able to move over here too, and you can still see. That's what space will look like if you don't have any colorization. You'll have these different colors. That other shot I gave you today was better. Okay, so that's some interesting. I've seen that circular thing down there before. That's basically some probably well known circle thing in but let's move over and there there's what I basically showed you earlier today of the color that's what space looks like out there it's actually just astronauts and so forth they probably never gonna admit it but it's scary looking I don't know if they can even see that from ISS up there but they never take any pictures out the other side do they, they only show us earth all the time okay so all kinds of wild stuff now we're gonna move over and see what we got on the end of the solar panel and there check that out that's the back side of the sun. So that's the sun doing its action. I figure that's the sun. But the wild thing is, if that is not the sun, what the hell is it? So this is amazing. So there's the big magnetic ball because that's the magnetical that goes off to all of us planets around here in the that's it, that's the sun, and I guess we'll just blow up some more. 
And it looks better at a long ways away, but you can see that, and then there's, that is, that's supposed to be the sun. And then that would be a star off in the distance that's, as the movie's playing, it's blinking in front of the sun. And it's probably, who knows, it's crazy distance probably away from the sun, but it just shows up there. But that should be the sun. And then you see some stars above there. Now, I could throw some other footage on, too, of C2 and show what... So, that is all what's going on right behind the sun. So, that's when, when they give us that magnetical, because basically, that's what's going on. If this was over here, you can see through the solar panel, like a pit or a sunglasses. That's the magnetical force. All that color right there. You can see, because that basically solar panel is like a like a gigantic pair of sunglasses right now. That's the magnetical force over here in the colorization in front of the sun. As those are stars out there. And then that's the magnetical connection. And as I got it zoomed in big, you can see all that color out in space. And it gets rid of the blue that they've got for a background color. And then I'll keep going. I'm going, I'm trying to go over to the to Earth and Jupiter and so forth over here. Because basically that's the magnetical connection at that. And then I'm there, so then I do I get down and get Earth? No, go back up and get Earth. Earth and Jupiter are up here somewhere. No. Nope. Now what do I got to do to scroll and get that? So I got that zoomed. Hang on, I'm just going to try to stay zoomed up here to see if we get it. Oh, I got to slide over. Hang on. So I'll slide over. Go grab the slider, and we'll move over, and we'll try to... And then I'll try to go back to the sun. So anyway, it was kind of awe-inspiring because that's the first time I've ever been able to see a whole circular shot of the sun. And we'll get over here, and I'll go up and down. That should be Earth. And yeah, that is, that's Earth, okay? So let's go, go from Earth, and we should just end up seeing... Uh, let's stay there for a second since I got it zoomed in so good. There's a good shot of Earth from a long ways away, okay? And that's our back end of our auroral action, part of it would be in it basically it would be on the back side because we always roll towards the sun. So there was Earth. We should end up with Jupiter coming across. Let me save some tape. Then we'll go across and just make it at uh, I think I'm at seven seventy seven here. So we come across from Jupiter to the right on the slider. And there that should be the sun. So I guess we finally just get a shot of the sun. Finally. Because that's the solar panel blocking it, as you saw in the zoomed in footage I had a little bit earlier. So let's pop out of this, basically up here with the blow up here. And that's what I ended up seeing was that huge there. And I pop up to 400 so you can understand what I'm saying. There's the sun, and you can see it from a far ways away. So it should be just the sun, finally. Finally, just a shot of the sun. I mean, there's everything else, but the idea we finally get something to see what's in the distance behind the sun there in the, in the solar panel. Now, I do not understand why all of a sudden that they are not allowing us to see the 28th. So I'll upload this. That's all the footage from the 27th on B. I was able to show you everything else from the 28th. 28th, I couldn't get H1 to B, so I don't know what's up. But this is pretty dramatic all of a sudden today that there's just the sun is very. I'm pretty sure that's just the sun on the end of the tip. If not, we got issues. So, and to get in on that, I guess. Should try to make it so that we're pretty sure that's just the sun. You can see how big this, the sun is from a large distance away. But then again, how huge the sun's supposed to be, what the hell is that? That's what's got me thinking now. So is the sun smaller than what we've always been led to believe it is? Because when you figure you're looking at, even though it's just, you know, see, Earth looks big because it's closer to the satellite. But the sun's far away, or what the hell is that then? Is that, and the only other possibility that can be is if that ends up being Mars 
blown up big because you can see Mercury and everything else you can see on the other side. So is that flipping Mars and it's really close to the satellite and it's not the sun? So we got an interesting object no matter what. And then how the hell, and that can't be Mars because how, Mars would never look any bigger than Jupiter. Unless for some damn reason it's just so damn close to the damn satellite. But why is it getting covered up under the tip of the satellite deal? So is it the sun? Well no matter, one way or the other. It's either the sun or Mars or something else. And then the size is something that we have to get an answer from because the idea that that should be way, if that's just the sun, it's supposed to be hella huger than what we think when we see a Jupiter and stuff like that. And you got Earth there, so it's pretty darn close. The satellite's pretty close to Earth because your Earth looks so huge in this shot. But what the hell is that? And the only thing I know is you can, I get I got these shots for the 28th. Now maybe there's something wrong, but then because he only got the 27th on this too. But I was able to get the 28th on the other shot. And as you see, the 28th is on these shots and so forth and so such. So I'm going to go over and come up. And we're going to go in and look at the... Uh, we're going to go take a look at the 26th. You know, you can, I've showed you this shot already in my videos on the 28th, you see. So that's why I was... Why, why, why come all of a sudden I can't get the, 20, the 28th on the B side? So we're going to try to get the B, the B side on the 26th too. We just showed you the 27th. So this is actual footage from the 26th. So, whatever the hell it is, it's huge. And I don't think it's the sun. And it shouldn't be. And then if you want to do is we can go back and look at the 20. I'm not going to have time on this tape. But we're going to go back and look. And then we'll zoom in on this from the 26. And it's moving hella fast. Either that now that we could, it could move the satellite, okay? And then the idea all of a sudden today, then it's closer. But I'm starting to wonder if we found what basically everybody's always been worried about. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, I'm just showing you what's actually here. Whatever it is, it's huge. And then we're going to move left, and it's the 26th. And there's Jupiter, and that shows you how damn huge it is. Now remember, I know that Earth looks big and everything like that because the satellite's close to it, and the satellite's drawed back. So whatever the hell this is, is way farther out. And you got to be able to check this footage on the front side of... Let's zoom in on this damn thing. It sure the hell should not be. There's no way the hell Mars could end up looking that damn big. This is starting to get funky. What the hell is it? It's not the moon. I mean, it's not flipping the sun. I'm sure the hell shouldn't be Mars either. Pop out all the way. So, what I'm wondering is, we all of a sudden see it on the 27th. And that's what how big it looked on the 26th, and it's getting bigger. So what the hell is it? Back up the tape, folks, and watch it. Now the sun did a lot of charge action, CME action, on the 27th from B, H1B. And then the problem is on the 28th, it locks up. And I'm not playing with anything here. Basically, that's all it did. And that's just a CME from the sun. That's nothing freaky there. That's the uh, Mer That should be Mercury doing a CME reactive flare in Jupiter up here, possibly, is what I figured when I found out yesterday, but it's just locked up, and I'm not playing with you there. As you see, that's as short as the video got. Okay, so what have we found? I think, basically, what I'm worried about is... And this is a satellite on the other side, okay? This is a head. Is this what we found that's up here flashing and ends up down here at the other end of the... That basically should be... This here down here at the very out outside that should be uh, that should be Mars. Okay, we had figured. Okay, what is this that we have found? Because basically behind the other satellite on the other way on the other side, it's farther down on it. And this was from that shot there. So 
we found something. There's something out there.